In this video, we're going to focus on creating an image pattern in the shape. So sometimes you have an image and you want to use that image pattern and apply it completely on the shape. So how can we do that? Well, let's start to explore. So the first thing what we need to do here is to create an image object. And in this case, I have an image here that's this one that I used in one of my previous videos. But you can use any image pattern you want. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to first create a constant. We're going to say here a pattern image that will be just our constant and this here we say a new image as our image object once we have this what i want to do here is now i'm going to say pattern image dot source and what i'm going to do here is the source is of course our image that i have here so i have it on my desktop so i can just grab this here and make sure that this is a string value there we are so once i have this what i want to do next is now start to uh, Create a shape and make sure that that shape will consist of that specific pattern. So if I save this right now and refresh, nothing happens yet. So what I'm going to do here now is, first of all, I'm going to say here, ctx dot fill style, and this fill style will be, oh, well, I can make this red first, or let's say color red. And then later on, I'm going to replace that with this pattern image. Now let's say ctx dot, and then fill rect and this rectangle I'll just make it 100 by 100 and then I'm going to make it larger so I'm going to say here this will be not 250 because the image itself is 250 by 250 so I'm going to say here this will be 600 by 600 once I have this I can save this and then refresh and now you can see we have this large image and I guess it's so large it probably will jump off the screen so I'm going to reduce the uh, size of the uh, white space here, or maybe the, the movement or the position. So it's like this. All right, so now we have this. What I want to do now is I want to, instead of this item here, I want to start to put this pattern in there. So how do I do this? Well, remember, if we're going to work with images, we need to make sure that the image loads first. If you don't do that, it's just going to work. So what I'm going to say here is the first thing is going to grab this constant and then say on load. So once it loads, then I'm going to say here equal, or you can, we can use your function, but it's not really necessary. You can just say here the shorthand, and we're going to use the function arrow expression. So basically, this is exactly the same as function. So it's one or the other. You can say here, or function like this, do like this, or without the function name, we just use an arrow here. So then what I want to do is I want to not draw this now. I want to draw this after it has been fully loaded with the loading image. But what I want to do here is a specific command and this command I'm just going to say a constant this is a pattern and the pattern is the following. I'm going to say ctx dot create pattern and then here we have two parameters. First of all it would be image that's the image uh, uh, URL and secondly it would be uh, the mode of repeating basically the repeat setting. You can say the repeat setting. And then, well, there are basically four options. So I'm going to use them, all of them. So let's start. The first one is the basic one. And this is very similar with CSS. Have you ever seen all, in CSS like these kind of patterns? You have uh, repeat, and then you have repeat, repeat X, which would mean a horizontal repeating of the item. And then we have repeat Y, very in CSS as well, which is a vertical repeating of the item. And finally, we have no repeat which would be very clear it doesn't repeat at all all right so what i'm going to do here is basically this one here is of course our image here once it loads it loads this image and i'm going to say here first of all let's do repeat very straightforward it will repeat it consistently so once i did this make sure it's semicolon here and this is a string value this here if it's a url you can copy the url put it in here then it's a string but this one here is of course a reference to a constant so no string here so I call them here, save that, and then refresh. All right, so now you can see here something is not working. That's interesting. So let's check what's going on. All right, so onLog is not a function. So let's see here, uh, what am I missing? So what I'm going to check here is, of course, my apologies. Don't use this here. Remove that because it's an equal sign. Let's do that. All right, so now we have this here. Now we have this one here still in red because we didn't adjust the pattern. So I'm going to grab this. A pattern item put it in there because this is the pattern that we have created or basically the image for the pattern 
now we get this nice pattern here and you can see here the position of that is of course uh, slightly different because it's sorry 50 50 here maybe we could do this one on zero zero save that there we are now you can see here it, what what it really does it just grabs the pattern and follow the pattern accordingly so it will not follow nicely here like that you would expect this would be starting here of course uh, there might be some advanced features for that however this is just the most important ones so let's do another one here let's say repeat x save now it repeat while well, we have the image is bigger but or the shape is bigger but we only repeat it horizontally next we have the y we'll repeat like this and finally we have the no repeat which just is very simple save that refresh and there we are so that's basically how you can play around with adding an image pattern in to a element.